All right, so the plan is <clears throat> we're heading out, staying at the Blue Dolphin Holiday Resort. Got a lovely little spot there, easy to launch the kayaks. So we've headed on down. Um, as you can see, sun's just coming up there in the background. And the idea today is we're going to head out, out to a place called Middle Wall. And oh, there we go, and we've got a fish. Yep, first, first fish of the day. on a TT blade, hopefully she hangs in there. And there we go, first fish of the day, little choppy tailor. Gonna be a few of those guys around I reckon. So got a whole bunch of bait schools in this particular area. And so these guys will be in there doing exactly what they're called, the choppy tailor, and chopping the hell out of the bait fish. So we'll see if we can get hooks out of that without getting bitten. I'll let this guy on his way. So my initial thoughts on the Clarence seem to be lovely, clean river. Obviously pretty big system that feeds it and you're probably looking oh, some high uh, volumes of water running in and out in the main channel but there's heaps and heaps of areas that you can get away from that. We're on the high tide here at the moment. It should be starting to maybe push out uh, pretty shortly. <laughs> there's a bunch of chopped tailor around and giving the old lure a bit of a hiding. Um, so yeah, so there is um, quite a variety of species you can catch here. Anything from flatties right through to jewfish and most of your estuary species. So tailor, quite obviously. Um, so gonna be quite interesting, I think. So let's go out and see if we can find them. So, managed to catch ourselves our very first. See the dolphins on the other side of the wall? Dusky flathead here in the Clarence. So, we might just need to work on the size, I think. Uh, but we're in the ballpark. A couple of visitors coming to see us whole bunch of dolphins coming through the gap in the rock over here. And, uh, pretty cool to watch. Right type. Maybe just not quite big enough. Good school of bait master here. Decent floaty. There we go. Flatty. Yeah, it's a flatty. Yeah. Number one. <laughs> Take on the old Rhino soft plastic. Again, a whole bunch of bait sitting on the bottom. And it looked incredibly fishy. So what do you call a flotilla of shags? Crap, maybe they know something we don't. Maybe it should be following those guys. Another. <laughs> That's what you want. It's fun to watch. Right, time. But this there, mate. That's two. Sitting right on 
the rock wall, literally in about five or six meters of water in the rocks. And uh, you, risk, you risk jagging your lures on the rock, but um, if you're only fishing soft plastic, it's not much of an issue if you lose one or two of those. So, pretty cool. That's a good size fish. Yeehaw. Here we go, guys. Nice fish. And we got another one on the line. <laughs> oh, yeah, another good one. On the bait caster this time. So just that heavy weight and they're just sitting there, they're sucking that soft plastic down. And then you're just drifting along this rock edge here, nice and steady. And here we go, that's another nice fish. Oh, yeah, yeah baby. Another nice fish, this time taken on a squidgy with a wicker jig head. And uh, great little fish going about that 42. Awesome size for the dinner table, so. Keep an eye on that other rod. Never know what's gonna happen here. <laughs> Literally hadn't even got a chance to put those two fish. Oh no, he pulled the hooks, bugger it. That was a great fish. And a tailor hits it on the way in. <laughs> Come here, son. So some awesome fish here this morning, just drifting this rock wall. So the fish are sitting literally just on the edge of the rock wall. Just picked up that 45 centimeter flatty. Absolute pearler of a fish. Lost another one not long after that. So it's all set. It's going off. Like the proverbial shag on a rock. Maybe one or two. Well, thanks very much, guys, for watching. Great little session out here on the Clarence, fishing those rock walls, chasing those bloodies. We'll be out having another crack. So join us on our next adventure. Until then, stay safe, and we'll see you guys next time out on the water. <laughs>